Okay kids, we're here for insertion sort list. Now first of all, before beginning, whenever you want to deal with link lists, or sorry, when you want to learn about them, I recommend going here at this particular address, link list problems, and link list basics over here as well, and this is from Stanford, as well as all the associated lessons on binary trees and pointers. You start off with pointers, then you move on to linked lists, and then you move on to binary trees, and you're golden. This tells you everything you need to know insofar as linked lists and binary trees, and it's actually explained in English. Okay, let's get going. So, given the head of a singly linked list, sort the list using insertion, short, insertion sort and return the sorted list as head. The steps of an, of an insertion sort algorithm are, so the insertion sort iterates, consuming one input element each repetition and growing a sorted output list. Well, let's just see what it does here. Okay, so they have the little image, um, which is moving at a snail's, snail's pace, but essentially you take an unsorted list and you create a new one that's sorted. That's it. Okay. Let's uh, let's do that. So that's what it tells you to do. You return the node pointing to the head of the new list. That's all you want to do. So how do we get started here? First thing we do is um, we create, we want to iterate through, and they actually tell you what to do. So you iterate through the current list, which is what they give you. And at each, at each iteration, you remove one element from the list, and then you just insert into, into the new list in its sorted order. So, okay, so we'll come up with a current pointer that points to, uh, so we don't lose the, the head pointer. That's one thing we don't want to lose over here. Um, we don't lose the head pointer, but actually that wasn't necessary here. Um, but in most cases it is. We also want to create a new list and set it to null. Right now that new list has nothing. Um, now while current not equal null, and this is kind of standard standard nomenclature, to iterate this is your format. This is how you move from one node to the next. Each time you iterate, you just go to the next one, and if it's ever null, it gets out of this loop. That's it. Um, so, we want to identify the list node. Um, what do we? We're going to call it my insert node, and this is the current node that we're going to remove from the old list and place into the new list. So, that's going to be equal to current. Then current. Um, then current will already be equal to current.next. Um, we actually don't need our current.next over here since we, we just went there, okay? So we just went there and that's how we do it. So now we're dealing with, we want to know how to deal with this my insert node over here. So we want to take this my insert node that we removed and put in the new list. Well, the first thing we want to do is make it kind of, uh, um, we want its next pointer to point to nothing. So, so far we don't know where that next pointer is going to. Oh, sorry, it's my insert node. And then we're, we're going to have to create some sort of magic function here, which is going to, to take the new list as a parameter and the node that we want to insert. And that's it. As we iterate through the list, as we iterate through the list, we identify the current node, we remove it, so we set its next pointer equal to nothing. So at this point, this is an individual node and nothing's pointing to it. Uh, and then we insert into the new list. Okay, so let's come up with that insert node um, method which we said would take a uh, list node star. And it's important to put this ampersand. Why? 
because we might modify the head of the new list. Not only might, we will. So we're going to call this new list. And we want to pass in the, um, the insert node by, uh, by value, actually. So that's my insert node over here. Um, yeah, or yeah, we could just stay. Phone ringing, I'll just interrupt. Good Lord, where were we? Oh yeah, well that call was actually from Facebook. Go figure. Um, let's get on with this. We were doing this insert node type of function, which um, which works with this thing over here. As we're iterating through all of the nodes from our original list, we're going to split them from that list and insert them into the new one. So the first thing that you might want to this is, well, if, uh, if the new list um, is null, then you um, then new list equals um, equals ins my insert node. That's it, because if there's nothing, then the first element will be that first insert node. Um, now let's see now else if now if you want to check well where to insert this before the head or after the head somewhere down else if um, else if my insert node dot val um, smaller or equal to new list dot val so r remember that when you talk about the new list it's always the first element if that's the case then you just want to take your my insert node and have it point to uh, to the new list. Then you want your new list to become my insert node. Again, all of this is made much easier if you read those Stanford problems, which will grill you with this type of you could say this type of nomenclature. Um, else, so. If it doesn't come before, it necessarily comes after the first node in the new list. Um, at which point you have to iterate. Uh, you have to iterate within the new list, and um, and see where exactly you want to place this thing. So we use our our little model while current not equal to null. And we immediately write our current equals current dot next. Again, this is our model for how to iterate down a list. We say, well, we say, okay, so what we're checking for is, is, um, okay, we want to check whether there's a pointer after, meaning if, is there a node after the one we're currently on within the new list? And if so, uh, if so, or actually, let's check if it's null. And if it's not null, then necessarily our insert node would be bigger than the current one. So if that's true, then we send the next node of the current one that we're on to the insert node, and then we just return. So let's just write that down. If um, current dot next equals null, so if there's nothing after, and our my insert node dot val bigger or equal to um, current dot val. If that's the case, then um, then we could just then we could just how how will we do this? Oh yeah, we sent current dot next equals my insert node. So there's nothing after, so we don't need to worry about the one that comes next. And then we just return. So we didn't affect the head pointer, we could just return. Um, if, we could put an else if, but since we have the return here, um, it would never hit this if in any case, so we could just do another if here. So if insert, I'm oh, sorry, if my insert node dot val bigger equal to current dot val and so now we d 
do have a next pointer um, and my insert node dot val smaller or equal to current dot next dot val. Okay, don't try this at home, kids. Then you set my insert node dot next equals current dot next. Okay, so you're saying we want to place this in between your in between our current node and our next node. Suddenly, it's the new node that's going to be pointing to the next node, and our current node, uh, our current node will be pointing to my insert node. So that's all we do. We set our current one to point to the one that we want to insert, and the insert node pointing to what's our current next node. And then we could return. Um, I think we're all set. Let's see what happens if we run the code. Error expected unqualified ID. What's its problem here? 50. While current uh, line 50. Oh, while current not equal null. What am I doing? Okay. Non-void function, line 57. Oh yeah, well, we just created a new list, so we want to return the new list. And we, okay, looks like it worked here. What if we do submit? And we have a winner. Thanks a lot, everyone.